Rolling rivers, canyons deep, snow capped mountains just beyond reach. That's my country, land of my dreams. I've been gone forever, it seems. Clear blue water, emerald shores in the distance. Waterfalls roar That's my country That's where I'm from I've been missing you for too long This is Becca and I just completed painting this portrait of Abraham Lincoln for the mural that my husband uh, got a phone call for, my husband Stephen Whitman. He received a phone call one day from somebody he knew after doing a job out in Indiana and um, they asked him to come out to Lincoln, Illinois and paint a mural of Abraham Lincoln on the side of their business. And uh, so I was super happy because I do portrait artistry and I took it upon myself to design the painting and got very happy to do so because I love Abraham Lincoln. I'm extremely looking forward to going out with our team. It's going to be so much fun. The mural is going to be approximately uh, 22 foot tall, about 40 foot wide. It's approximately a little under a thousand square feet. And then we're also going to reface the entire front of their building. Lincoln, Illinois, if you don't know, the story is quite interesting. It's not Abraham Lincoln's hometown in, in Illinois, but what it is is when he was a lawyer and nobody even knew who he was, uh, a friend of his asked him to do the legal work to because he bought some land to form a town, a little town in the land that he purchased. And Lincoln did the paperwork to form this town and um, his friend named it after him, named it Lincoln. Uh, when the, the town was formed and you know how they have those big ceremonies and what whatnot and L Abraham Lincoln christened the sound with watermelon juice that's the story that uh, that that at least history tells so we put a cabin in here to represent the the you know the one room cabin he lived in and um, you know he's riding off in the distance going, you know, I, my representation of leaving the cabin and going to the White House. I was honored to paint this and I'm more honored that it's going on such a uh, huge wall for the entire world to see. Hi everybody, Stefan Whitman here from Slotos Fine Art Studio. To my left here, I have my beautiful wife. My name is Rebecca Whitman, everybody calls me Becca. Love it, we are heading out with um, master mural artist Bruce Gregg, which we are so fortunate to have on our team. Uh, the thing about Bruce that is really awesome is Bruce is actually from New Zealand. He came over here in the States in 2011. Uh, over in New Zealand, he was on the theater sets of Lord of the Rings, The Hobbit, 10,000 BC, and King Kong uh, as a set finishing artist. Uh, he really enjoyed it over there and he did. he's, he's world renowned over on that side of the world. As a professional mural artist, he's been in many news articles, magazines. Um, he's done over 350 murals, over 100 large-scale murals. Uh, he used to do auto-body murals. I love, I love the fact that there's going to be three teachers on a mural. Yeah, three teachers on the mural. Yeah, so we're all going to teach each other something. Oh, well, that's and we'll the, all learn from each other. That's the beauty about working as a team is that it doesn't matter who's been doing what longer. It doesn't matter who's better at what than someone else. Everybody's better at something than someone else. But when you each bring the best of yourselves to a job and you work on it, then the, the, the finished product is going to be far superior than one person's able to do. It's really important to have Bruce actually go down to this mural in Lincoln, Illinois, for a couple of reasons. One, I mean, I'm, I'm as a fan, I'm like geeking out, you know, as, a, as like, because I love Bruce. 
and I love learning from Bruce, and he has so much to offer to my arsenal of, of creativity. And one of the best things I, I'm gonna watch is Bruce paint something that he loves doing, and that's portraits. And Bruce is one that does not take shortcuts. He is the first one to tell you to give him the most realistic photo you can find on his planet, and he will go mole for dimple, for pimple, blackhead, you name it, he will put it on there. If it's in the photo, it's gonna be on the wall. And that's what I love the most about Bruce Gregg. Mm -hmm. um, me and Becca- Can I jump in? Yeah, me, real quick, me and Becca are a great team. We are, we're a great team. But uh, at the same time, we both feel like, you know, Bruce has a lot to, to offer us as well as we maybe offer Bruce. And that's what's gonna make it, this is so awesome. Yeah. So this is like a, even though we're reproducing a piece that I created, it, I think it was just designed for what, for the best of us to all show up. So, um, and it's a challenge. Like I changed the picture of Abraham Lincoln upon Bruce's request. And um, so- Which was a fantastic idea. It was fantastic. It was far the, better the than the one, one that we, that had we originally picked. had to what's about to go up. Uh, oh yeah. 10, uh, uh, nine mm -hmm. day. Yeah.
Stephen Whitman. They call me Mr. Fluffy Clouds. One of my good friends, Alex Peck, actually gave me the name about four years ago. Uh, we were painting in my garage and he had a stencil I loved and he had some transparent white and I just love creating little fluffy clouds and he goes Mr. Fluffy Clouds and it kind of stuck and there it is and it followed me all the way through to now. And I would have to say, you know, coming down here uh, it was, was definitely a, a great experience. So when the guys asked me if I could do, they asked me if I could paint a portrait of Abraham Lincoln and I, I, I'm a very, very honest artist and I was like, uh, I tell you what, I can't do that yet, but let me go talk to team members I knew I could. And I talked to my wife and I let her know and as soon as she heard it, she was tickled, all giggity giggity that she is, you know, <laughs> you know, that's what she does. <laughs> no, 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 so, oh my God, no, she doesn't do that, she, she makes it look way better than this. Um, I love you, baby. Was, was, her excitement was so. I love it when my wife gets excited. It gets me excited. She drew up the, the blueprint and it came out fantastic. And, anyways, we submitted the idea and they loved it. We came down here um, with, a, with a game plan. But what I didn't know is what kind of town I was coming into. And what I loved about this town is that one single person came up and gave us a hard time. Instead, I've had more hugs from strangers in the last few days than I have in like forever. And it's been the most beautiful experience. When I look at that mural, I want to say the Pledge of Allegiance. That's what's happening, you know? <laughs> it's just awesome. You know, let's, let's just say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag, the United States of America, and to the public for which it stands, one nation under God, invisible with liberty and justice for all. You know, I, I can't thank Bruce enough for coming down here and painting a mural with me. Um, always working with Bruce Gregg is, is the highlight of my life. That's like working with Bob Ross. The man's just next level Yoda and I love him with all my heart. And he came in and he really wanted to paint Abraham and I tell you what, he knocked it out of the park. I got to also come down here with my best friend in the world and that's my wife. We started the project Monday. We started it this, this uh, Monday, and then I think we were whitening the walls with kilts Monday night or Monday evening, and then Monday night we were projecting um, Abraham Lincoln actually on the wall. So we used a projector to project Abraham Lincoln on the wall. So we're talking Monday we projected the image sketch. Tuesday we came in and we started painting. It's now uh, Saturday or Sunday, and we were done yesterday. So it took us five days to paint this mural. But it's awesome that, you know, we got here because of I did a mural. We came here with a game plan because my wife put it together. We executed it because we brought the master airbrush artist, Bruce Gregg, my wife, and myself with the most positive energy you can ever find around. And we put our talents together, the best versions of us. And Lincoln, Illinois just got the best three versions of us. My wife, she, she worked well with, this is the first time she ever painted with Bruce. Um, they were, it was such a great collaboration to put together. Um, she picked his brain apart and he listened to us and we, he listened, we listened to him and we listened to her and they listened to me and it was just beautiful guys. The whole experience was just beautiful. 
I will never forget this experience. I can't. It's just impossible because it impacted my heart that much. To share this with you, Lincoln, Illinois, it was a great honor to drive 900 miles with our team. Hi, this is Becca from Stiletto's Fine Art Studio, and I just wanted to make a quick video. We just got home um, like 5 a.m. this morning from Lincoln, Illinois to paint the Abraham Lincoln mural uh, on a small business out there. And I loved it. It was absolutely wonderful. And, and I'm just so very grateful for the opportunity to be able to be of service to this community and to be able to offer the gifts that are just my gifts in my heart that I've been given to be able to create. It has always been our mission here at Stilettos to help people to help themselves with art. And I, I understood a little bit on how viewing art can do that, but the impact that this art piece had on the people of this town um, of Lincoln, Illinois, the, you know, the town that's named after Abraham Lincoln, they're so proud of him. We were able to put this mural there and we watched a community spirits just lift right up I mean, just right up. And I mean, if we could have hired somebody to stand there and talk to people, and uh, we, we probably could have, honestly, they had asked how many people were coming to view it. And we've had so many people who just are commenting and, and thanking us. And um, they don't, we appreciate that, but we don't need to be thanked. We thank you for inviting us into your community and and for allowing us to do what we do and to share that with you in a way that makes everyone feel good. I can't imagine the, the weight upon a person's shoulders to see slavery and to know that you wish to change it, to change such a monstrosity to human, of a human creation and, and to have to sit and wait and do it in the right moment and to be to rise up from his simple beginnings with with and just knowing that it wasn't right and it 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 wasn't it, it shouldn't be that way and, and 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 to just be able to have that that mindset and that and that heart set to to just keep moving forward and to and the only goal was to to see freedom for these people and to reunite a nation that he loved, um, that touches me. So I was very honored to be able to do this, to create this piece. Um, I tell people all the time, I paint with God, I don't take credit for any of it. And you can take that how you wish, but that's how I feel. And I'm just here for this, the inspiration to work through me. And um, I just, I feel very grateful for that. So this, project was so wonderful. It was so much fun to paint with my husband. It was so much fun to see all of the people come together, the team to come together in their different ways. Um, I'll be honest with you, <laughs> I'm a portrait artist and I went out there with the intention of painting Abraham and that was the whole reason I wanted to go. I, um, I was going to paint Abraham and we got out there and Bruce painted Abraham and um, and I had to be okay with that because Bruce Gregg's a phenomenal artist. And although I can do it, we were, we had to get home and Bruce can, Bruce has so much experience doing it. And he actually nailed it perfectly um, in exactly the way it needed to be for that mural. And, and you know, um, as an artist, you, you have to swallow some um, pride to let someone else create your artwork. And I'm very honored that Bruce was able to capture Abraham the way I wanted him captured. And you know, he added his own creative flair to it. And, and, and he was so respectful and he asked me if it was okay to change it a little bit. So, um, and, and he honored that he had, a, he had a vision of how he wanted to create him at first and I didn't like it. And he honored that and without complaining, he went and changed how he was creating them so that I would be happy with it. And I respect that a lot because it's not always easy to do to have someone say, I'm not sure I'm liking the way you're doing it. And, and, and he, and he, you know, he's such a good man and such an amazing artist that he just, 
he understood and he redirected it and he did it. And um, I couldn't have asked for a better recreation of Abraham. And, um, you know, although Bruce and I paint differently and it would have looked different than his if I had done it, I couldn't have done it any better. I feel like God just provided Bruce to um, for me to just watch because that's how I learned. I learned by watching and to just watch how he painted and pick up the things that you know, in large scale mural painting that I, you know, which I don't do all the time like he does. I mean, he has so much experience in it. I just, I learned so much by watching him. He truly is a master at what he does. Uh, he won't tell you that. He'll say he's never done anything exceptional, but he is exceptional. I love this experience and I would do it again in a heartbeat. And, and I know we will when the next one comes along, but this one was special. It was truly special. For those of you who don't know, Stefan, uh, about a month before the, he got the phone call. He came back from, he came back from, what is it, Rockville, Indiana. He, he had painted a, a mural out there and he helped revamp the business. Cause this is part of what we did here for these, this, the, the owners of the beverage genie is we helped rebrand their vis business by doing the exterior painting, changing the color scheme and really just giving the, the, the look of the business, uh, a new feel and a new look and refreshing it. And so it doesn't blend in with everyone else. And um, he did the same thing out in Rockville, Indiana at a place called the Tiki Hut. And he had so much fun and he did such a great job. I was so very proud of him. Excuse me. He came home and he, he comes to me, he's like, Becca, I keep, I keep having dreams about Abraham Lincoln. He goes, I don't understand why I keep dreaming about Abraham Lincoln. And and he's like, it's like he's coming in my dreams and and I don't get it. And then, you know, and then he's at the studio one day and a children's book of Abraham Lincoln just like showed up out of nowhere. And then he was in the shower and listened to Tupac. And then all of a sudden the Gettysburg Address comes on on YouTube and he's like, he, he's like all freaked out. He's like, I don't understand what is going on with Abraham Lincoln. And I kid you not, within a week he got a phone call from, um, Lucky, the owner of Beverage Genie, asking him to come out to, not Lucky, one of Lucky's partners, they, there's a partnership there, I think it was his partner, Tony, to come out and to paint this mural of Abraham Lincoln on their building. And he was like, oh my goodness. And um, he, he instantly told me and I got super happy because that's what I do. And, and I know who Abraham Lincoln is. And I was just so passionate to paint him and I didn't even ask permission. I started to design and I said they're just gonna have to do the one I come up with because that's what I do. And um and you know what? I just know that God was God was working through him to make sure that he didn't ignore the call and and and, and really realize that it didn't matter about money. It didn't matter about anything that we would get out there, everything would be okay and we were meant to be there and we were supposed to be there. I knew it the instant I heard about it and uh, and I think he did too. So it's just one of those miracles and it's just life's way of showing that God is good. And I just love seeing, I know, I know how much Abraham loved that town. He loved that town so much that when he, uh, when he passed and left this earth, he had it written in his will that his body his, was to be taken to Lincoln, Illinois, not any other town, to Lincoln. It was to be left there a day for the people there to be able to mourn him. And he had that written in his will. And that just is a statement to how much he loved that town and the people of that town. And um, I feel like he knew his town needed him and Somehow he found a way for us to bring him back there and 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 to let his town know he hasn't forgotten him and remind his town how much he loves them. And I find that to be a beautiful thing. So I'm so grateful and I say thank you to everyone and I love you all. We love you all. All right. Mwah. God bless you all. Oh, beautiful for spacious skies, land of truth and land of lies. High up where the eagle flies, I'll be there.
before 